Hello and welcome to Florida Beaches. My name is Rebecca Escott with Everything Tumblr Tutorials. Today I've been completely inspired to show you a beautiful triple vinyl tutorial tumbler with AB Designs printable vinyl as well as the Florida Beaches. Stay tuned and let's get started. I hope you guys enjoy. Hello, and today we're gonna to be working with a 25 ounce hydro sports bottle, one I've not got to show you guys before. So I just wanted to show you that I've got a little tiny pull noodle in there, and it's in there, but you do not wanna push this too far because you will likely never get it out. Um, so I just cut it, and then I put a slit down the center in order for me to make it work for the size width of the bottle top. So I'm just gonna take painter's tape, which you can use electrical tape as well, but this is what I had on hand. So I'm gonna tape off where the cap would screw back on and one more time around the pool noodle itself, just for a little added extra protection. Now this tape will stay on throughout the duration of this tumbler. As you will notice, I've already got the vinyl pieces cut. The two principal Florida vinyls are from AB Designs and the pink is from Glitzy Girl Glitter. Everything used in this tutorial today will have links for you down in the description. Now when I place my vinyls to start, I like to put them on the cup holder and I will pull the backing completely off this printable vinyl. Once I have secure placement with the vinyl, working it very carefully on lying it onto the tumbler and getting that center started for me, I will then pull it up off the cup holder and maneuver it by hand. So as you'll notice, the first half seems to always lay nice and beautifully. But this other half, I do have to pull it back and kind of manipulate it a little bit to get it in the direction it needs to go. This way it wraps really nicely around the entire tumbler. At this point, I'm not really worried about the top or the bottom because we get to that later. So we're going to use the Wicked Shimmer Tool to cut the bottom rim. I highly recommend going a couple of passes before pulling the vinyl. Once you're ready, go ahead and take your weeding pin and do what I like to call now, pick it and pull it. So now that you have a flawless finish there, we're going to go ahead and do the seam on the back side. Now I only have to do this because I didn't cut it short enough, if you will, so it's a little bit overlapping more than I'd like. So I just use a measuring tape and my X-Acto knife and just slice right down the center. I only pull up the top portion of the vinyl, so you want to be careful when doing that. And once you have that completely taken off, we're ready to move on to the next step.
For this final stripe, I am going to put it back on the turner. And that way it'll be easier for me to guide the vinyl strip around in the center. It seems much easier for me to do the larger vinyls without the backing versus the smaller ones. <laughs> That's why you'll see when I'm doing the smaller ones, it's on the turner for help versus the larger ones. You will also notice that I don't have to trim this pink stripe at all because it overlaps perfectly. Now I'm going to put it back on the cup holder. And I have to do this one a little bit different because normally I can use my my Wicked Shimmer tool to cut the rim at the top of the tumbler as well. But unfortunately, there's no way with this bottle style top that I would be able to do that. So I definitely want to take my time placing this one onto the tumbler because I need to keep the vinyl just on the outside or inside, however you will, around that rim. I do keep the backing on this as well, just because I really do need to take my time and make sure everything lines up as planned. This one also only overlapped a little bit, so that, again, there was no need for me to cut it. Make sure all of your vinyl is nice and secure and we're ready to go ahead and tape it off so that we can paint. So again, I am using the painter's tape to go along the edge of the vinyl line that it, that's already there for me. You're going to want to do this to the top as well as the bottom. For this center, I'm actually going to fold up my parchment paper and um, I'm going to wrap that around the cup to protect it while I paint. So you'll notice that I, I fold it in the width in which it will overlap both the top and the bottom painter's tape. Once I have the size right, we're ready to move forward. Once everything is nice and secure, we're ready to paint. I'm going to paint the top with the Rust-Oleum Candy Pink and the bottom with the Rust-Oleum Seaside Teal. Now that our paint is somewhat dry, we're going to go ahead and remove the parchment paper from the tumbler as well as the tape. So you will notice at the pink here, I did have a couple of bleeds. I did not let that concern me as I do a vinyl strip there anyways. So just be careful when pulling the tape. 
and when taping off where you're going to paint just make sure you rub that painters tape down really well and this way you don't have bleeds this would have been an issue if i didn't decide to use vinyl strips there Once I pull the tape, I do set this off back on the turner and allow it to completely dry before moving on to the next step. So here's the gold vinyl that I'm going to use and I apologize, it's not labeled and I really don't remember where I picked this up from. But I already went ahead and cut my little teeny tiny strips and I'm going to place them starting with the seam in the back, working along the line already provided for me. Once you meet up with the back, you can use your X-Acto knife and or scissors like myself and just trim that up. Off camera, I did the exact same thing to the top and the bottom. Here I'm going to use a saying, sunshine state of mind is what it's supposed to say, um, but we'll get to that in a second. So I don't normally wrap sayings around a tumbler, um, but this was an excellent suggested idea and I decided to run with that. You will notice that I'm going to apply sunshine and then I'm going to start cutting the words out separately and placing them individually as I think that that really worked out much easier. So once you get that into place, <laughs> you want to make sure that you have that rubbed down nice and tight and secure before removing your transfer tape. So here you will notice that I have since changed the word mine to mind. And now that the saying is correct, we are ready to seal this and allow the seal to dry before we go into epoxy. So as you will notice, I do level this out and make sure that this is completely level before epoxy because this tumbler was a little heavy for my turner. I am going to use a quick set from Glitter Craze and I am going to mix in AB Design's Glorious Epoxy Additive and I'm only going to add a pinch.
So as with any coats of epoxy, when you are completed, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. I also, because this is a new tumbler, I wanted to show you guys how I removed the tape at the top. I waited about 15 minutes prior to removing that tape. If your tumbler needs another coat of epoxy, you, you will need to re-tape off that top before applying another coat. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in on this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon.